Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel Umphi at the rate study. Student, you already know that we have started the discussion on topic reflection of light. And in our previous class, we have discussed the basic things about the reflection of light such as definition of reflection of light, types of reflection of light, how the reflections happens on a plane, how could we see our image on a skin, these things we have discussed in our previous class. Today our topic is same that means reflection of light but with a new subtopic and today our new subtopic is laws of reflection, laws of reflection. But before starting this new subtopic, I suggest you to remember the things that we have already studied this topic laws of reflection in class 8. That means this is not a new topic. So we should invest very less time to understand this old topic. Okay. So let us we move uh, on the discussion. Here the laws of reflection it is written on the uh, on the head of the board and you can see a reflecting surface m1 m2 here m1 m2 is a reflecting surface what is reflecting surface the surface where reflection taking place the surface where reflection taking place is known as reflecting surface so here m1 m2 is the reflecting surface and on this surface you can easily see a light ray comes from the point A along the path AO and fall on the point o, at the point O on the surface M1 M2. And after falling at the point O, this light ray moves towards the point B along the path OB. So here you can easily understood that the ray AO, the ray AO is known as incident ray. The ray AO is known as incident ray. Okay. AO is known as the incident ray because it incident at the reflecting on the reflecting surface. So, this ray is known as, the, known as the incident ray and after incident this ray reflected along the path OB or the light ray as OB. So, this OB light ray can be called as reflected ray OB here the reflected ray. Okay. This is the reflected ray. So, the definition of incidence ray and reflected ray already we have covered in class 8 and you can easily find the definition of reflex, reflected ray or the incident ray in class 8 NCRT no, no, uh, textbook. So, from there you can uh, recall the definitions of this incident ray, reflected ray as your wish, as your uh, easy way. Okay. So, next let us we move, you can see a perpendicular or a straight line, perpendicular straight line is drawn at the point O and this perpendicular straight line is NO, NO, NO is a perpendicular straight line drawn at the point O on this reflecting surface. This perpendicular straight line is known as the normal of reflection, normal of reflection. Okay. So, NO or ON is known as the normal of reflection. NO means ON mean are same things. Okay. NO or ON same things. So, NO or ON is known as the normal of reflection. Now, here you can see an angle. Here you can see an angle is made between the incident ray and the normal NO. This angle is denoted by the English letter I and this angle is known as angle of incidence. So, angle I is equal to angle AON here this angle is AON is known as the angle of incidence. And similarly, you can see here another angle is made between the reflected ray and the normal NO or ON. This angle is known as angle of reflection and it is denoted by the letter R. Okay. So, angle R is equal to an angle NOB and this is known as angle of reflection. So, we have understand the angle of incidence which is made between the 
incident ray and the normal and similarly similarly the angle r which is made between the reflected ray and nob and this is known as angle of reflection okay student i hope you understand uh, these basic points about the reflection now let's we move the laws of reflection let's we discuss two important laws about the reflection this important laws are valid in everywhere what may be the reflection type if it is regular regular reflection then it's all always obey the laws of reflection and you can think that uh, you may think that uh, when the reflection is irregular that means it may be violate the laws of reflection but it is not right reflection may be irregular or irregular but laws of reflection always valid okay laws of re reflection cannot be violated by any type of reflection by any type of surface always laws of reflection are valid if the reflection taking place on a smooth surface there also the laws of reflection is valid if the reflection taking place in a rough surface there also the laws of reflection valid and now let's we move the two important laws of reflection the first law of reflection let's we uh, look at the first law of reflection according to this law according to the first law of reflection the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection where what is the angle of incidence here i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of reflection that means according to uh, mathematically we can represent the first law of reflection angle i is equal to angle r okay this is the first law of reflection first law of reflection states that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection this is very easy to memorize this law okay so if the angle of incidence let's we consider here a light ray falls on a surface falls on the surface and this light ray makes an angle with this with the normal with the normal in o an angle uh, let's we consider this is the 30 degree this is the 30 degree angle okay after reflection the reflected light moves towards the path ob according to this law first law according to the first law of reflection the angle of reflection that means angle nob will be what it is obviously equal to 30 degree as angle of incidence is i 30 degree so angle of reflection should be 30 degree according to the first law of reflection if the angle of incidence is 60 degree that means angle of reflection will also be 60 degree according to the first law of reflection so angle of reflection and angle of incidence is always equal to each other according to the first law of reflection now let's we move along the uh, uh, towards the second law of reflection what is the second law of reflection according to the second law of reflection the incident ray the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal you know these things always lie in the same plane again let's see uh, read it again according to the second law of reflection the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal always lie in the same plane and here the plane is the plane of the whiteboard that means the incident ray reflected ray and the normal cannot be lie in different planes when the reflection taking place on any surface the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal always lie in the same plane they cannot be lie in different planes this is the this is the statement of the second law of reflection okay so these two important laws are very uh, important to understand the further important topics uh, like as the laws of reflection uh, or the reflection by the spherical mirror okay to understand the reflection of uh, by the spherical mirror we should remember these two laws of reflection and uh, keep it mind that a laws of reflection is always valid for any type of reflection if the reflection taking place on a smooth surface 
they are also the laws of reflection valid if the reflection taking place on a rough surface laws of reflection is are valid if the reflection taking place on a, a spherical surface they are also the laws of reflection are valid the laws of reflection cannot be violated by any type of reflection regular or irregular also so these things you have to keep in mind and today our topic is uh, ended here and class also is ended here next day we will discuss about the regular reflection and irregular reflection in detail i hope you have understand today's class if you have any questions if you have any misunderstand then you can write in comment sections so let's we stop the video here